everybody, welcome to Dad Talk. Today we're here in Rapid City, South Dakota at Freedom Fest 2021, and I'm sitting here with Mr. Daniel Harmon. Daniel, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing good, so I was very excited to hear about this programming that you got coming on. And if this ain't Dad Talk, I don't know what is. Tell us about the Tuttle Twins. What's going on with this? So, uh, Tuttle Twins is a TV show that we're making ba based on the best-selling selling book series um, by Connor Boyack. It's um, the Tuttle Twins has over 2.5 million copies that it sold, and awesome. it teaches kids about principles of freedom and economics. So we're just t turning it into an animated TV show uh, for kids, and taking those same principles, teaching them in a way that's really digestible for kids, and also adults can appreciate. Well, definitely, and, and we need some more of that entertainment. You know, we were talking a little bit before the show started about some of the the indoctrination that we're seeing in some of the, the TV shows and the way they always make the dad look like the bumbling idiot. To have this good educational, wholesome entertainment out there for our kids, we don't have enough of it. So I'm very pleased to hear that you're doing that. So tell us some of the plans you got coming up with it. Yeah, so we uh, crowdfunded the show. Okay. Um, we raised uh, $3.7 million for a full 12-episode awesome. uh, 12, 12 season. Um, so that'll be, we'll be releasing an app where you can watch it for free um, in the fall, that'll be released on, on iPhone and on Android. You know, Tuttle Twins app, and you can watch it um, there for free, as well as the first episode will be, be available on like YouTube and Facebook. But um, we're going to be teaching uh, things about like um, the law, Frederick Bastias, the law, where the, the, the twins have a grandma with a time-traveling wheelchair. <laughs> okay. And they'll go back in time to learn from um, historical figures like... Um, like Frederick Bastia or like Ben Franklin or or like um, or Gandhi or, or just different um, people the, the, where they can learn about principles like the golden rule or or they can learn about how um, free trade is what makes it so you know miracles like an iPhone exist and that kind right. of thing so anyway that's that's kind of where we're headed where, where, where was your inspiration from I know you said you know you got this from a book well, where was some of the inspiration that really said hey we, we've got to get this out there um, for me my kids so I have seven kids, and um, I'm essentially really focused on making the show that I want for them there and that go. I would have liked for myself as a kid. Um, I've got little kids, a little little focus group of my own that I can kind of run stuff by. And um, also there's a pretty big void right now in teaching principles of freedom and economics right. in schools and in culture in the way that, it's, that we're teaching it in this series. And there's been such a response from the public and from parents for this kind of this kind of content, right. you can see from the books so to the the 2.5 million books sold, and then also the 3.7 million dollars that we raised uh, for the series itself. So, yeah, the the response has been phenomenal. Tell us what being a dad means to you. I mean, it means everything. It's it's literally my my kids and and my wife and my family are are everything to me. And one of the things that we're a little bit focused on with the series is we're trying to stay away from the tropes and the the cliches of making the dumb dad right you see right. that in advertising all the time you see it in shows all the time we're trying to make um their their dad be a very a very competent a very um you know a good example um involved in their lives and stuff but not just you know this this bumbling idiot kind of a thing and um we want him to be a, a good father figure like like I think is more often the case, right? right? Especially for people that are seeking out this kind of entertainment. Why do you think that the dad has been that target in Hollywood and when, we, when we're seeing in our entertainment? I don't know. I think, I mean, some of it has to do with the fact that a lot of people that are cast as dads start out in a place in um, like stand-up comedy. Right. Right. Yeah. And so um, a lot of stand-up comedy is really kind of um, where you make fun of yourself a lot. There you go. Yeah. And so it lends itself a lot. I think it's kind of happenstantially that some of it is lends itself to the fact that maybe the um, like the comedian that's sort of carrying the show right. is the dad, and so um, they can kind of play into that 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 idiot type of thing sometimes. But then also, um, there might be individuals that just don't want to portray a dad in a good light. You know, that maybe they didn't grow up with a father figure in that way, and they want they, they just think that's funny in itself, and and maybe just aren't even thinking of the long term repercussions. Unfortunately, there's consequences to that. You yeah. know, when it's on the big screen and people are seeing it, the examples that are made. I was just watching a series the other day, and like dad kept messing up everything. Wife had to come in there and like, what are you doing? Yeah. Constantly getting onto him. I was like, it was funny. It was entertaining. Yes. 
but we are so much more than that as fathers. That's right. I mean, seeing what you're doing right now to provide that entertainment for other children, and because you wanted your kids to have it, this is the type of dads we have in the United States, and there, there's yeah. so many more good traits that we have, and we need to make sure we put a spotlight on them. So. Yeah, it's focusing a little bit more on, on the good that there is to offer. And we all bumble and do stupid things from of time course, to time. I do it daily. We're, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're, all, we're all human, but if, if, if that's always the focus, then that's maybe more the behavior that gets repeated. Absolutely. Hey, man, tell everybody where they can find these episodes. Yeah, so if you go to TuttleTwins.tv, so it's T-U-T-T-L-E Twins.tv, um, then you can get on our email list and be notified when the app is available to, for download and for free. It's, it's coming out this fall. So. All right, so guys, please go sign up for that. Uh, I love this concept. Love what you're doing, man. Keep up the great awesome. work. Awesome. Thanks, Eric. Daniel, Appreciate thanks so it. much. Hey everybody, Eric Carroll here. Thank you for tuning in to another exciting episode of Dad Talk Today. While we fight for you, we would ask for you to please help fight for us. Like, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you get notifications every time we go live. There's also Super Chats, patreon.com slash dadtalktoday, and other ways you can support our channel. Thank you for being here, and we will see you next time.